non c'è il matrimonio eh, per le coppie gay. Noi siamo che non ce l'abbiamo perché diritto. quelli ci menano, non hai capito che ci, ci seguono fino a casa? Ah, e ma allora ci facciamo male. It's about uh, many things, in fact. It's about our story as a couple living together since nine years now and the what's happened last year in Italy, suddenly last winter in fact, when the government proposed a law for the civil union extended to the gay couple as well. Dico, diritti e doveri dei conviventi. And uh, immediately the Vatican was very pushy and very aggressive, saying no, no, no. La mia preoccupazione per le lecce sulle coppie di fatto. There's nobody who could hold up uh, to, to the Vatican, to the Pope, to say, look, uh, we, are, we live in two separate states, it's good if you talk about religion and spirit and that stuff, but uh, when it's uh, up to politics, it's uh, our decision, the politicians' decision, which have been elected by citizens and not by Catholics. So, um, the Vatican at the moment in Italy understood that there is this kind of empty political gap, this political emptiness, which they filled with their powers. La coppia omosessuale è una deviazione naturale, cioè non esiste questo, è una deviazione. Noi siamo insieme da otto anni e siamo una coppia, no? Per me no. People repeat what they hear in the television or in the church on Sunday morning. They just repeat with the same words what the Pope said or what the Bishop said. So that's, that's sad. The fact that Italians uh, are lazy, they don't like to, to think about with their minds, with their own brain. They just repeat what they heard. And that was a very, that was a shock for me to, to realize that my fellows are like that. I diritti dei ricco sono già ampiamente libertà di convivenza, quindi è inutile che lo Stato li riconosca. We are getting backwards uh, with huge paths, <laughs> especially yeah. now after, after, after now especially age. after the the elections. We had the elections in April, and the center right uh, government or uh, the center right party won, and basically uh, in the parliament. Uh, there is no party left who is for civil unions, so who is for, for gay rights. Ci voglio stare un'ora lì, Gustav, scusami, ma non esiste che io sto un'ora lì con quei pazzi. Cioè, non ne posso più, Gustav, è, è, è due mesi che mi fai frequentare questi pazzi esaltati. Io sono stato 35 anni della mia vita senza doverli mai vedere, senza entrare in una chiesa. E adesso tutti insieme devo avere a che fare con questi. Non mi va, mi sento male. Why do you think this was important for you to include your own relationship in this uh, film? For me it was the only way to tell this story because uh, what happened in Italy with the whole discussion was that uh, the homosexual, homosexual itself and the homosexual couple became an abstraction. So we wanted to give a body to this abstraction in order to tell people who are going to see the film that it's about people and not about some uh, aliens from the Mars. What's next for your relationship? What, what, what do you see down the road for your relationship? Not another baby for the moment, <laughs> at least, because we are very focused on this one. We will do the insemination. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll spend uh, all of this year traveling around the world with that documentary. We usually spend a lot of time together, we live together, we have mutual friends, we sleep together, we everything's together. And even to work together, to editing the film with an editor, always together was was very good. Mm. I suggest to everybody to do it. But <laughs> Let's do documentary. <laughs> As a therapy. <laughs> As a therapy. <laughs>